Again, it is a pleasure to be talking uh, in Madrid about the future of uh, uh, what I call Plan A and Plan B. This has been the longest dream of humanity since we know. In fact, the first book written in history, the Epic of Gilgamesh, is about immortality. So it has driven culture, civilization, since the beginning of time. And the definition that we use uh, for the singularity is the time when artificial intelligence reaches human intelligence level. Uh, some time ago, Time Magazine published a whole issue about the singularity, and they used the year 2045. And look at the consequence, the subtitle of the article, 2045, the year man becomes immortal. 30 years ago, computers were just starting. 20 years ago, mobile phones were beginning. 10 years ago, companies like Google, Facebook were growing. What are we going to see in the future? We are going to see magic. We are going to control the aging process in the next few years. In fact, some people, we consider that aging is a disease, but it is a curable disease. We know today that cancer cells are basically immortal. Cancer cells do not age biologically. So the proof that this is possible is that it already happens. So we just need to discover, and I am an engineer, so if it happens, we should be able to do it, and better. Also, we have some small animals like hydras, and medusas, and some corals that do not age. They biologically do not age. This is the proof that this is possible, because it already happens. But do not believe me, and do not quote me. Quote Microsoft, that in 10 years they will cure cancer, and he have friends working on this. And uh, Google, and you have two students working there in Calico, California Life Company. The objective of Calico is to cure a little technical problem called death. We will cure death in 30 years. And then we move into plan B quickly. Remember, plan A is not to die. But if you die, and people will die in the next 10 to 20 years, the only option, viable option that you have is cryopreservation. And I strongly believe in cryopreservation. There is a lot of scientific evidence. There is a document signed by many, many medical doctors, uh, neurophysicians, PhDs, supporting cryonics. <laughs>